downtown Davis in celebration mode. It's the first time the the school in school history that we made it to the dance, so it's a great accomplishment. I feel like it's got Davis like super stoked too. So kind of everyone's you know every Facebook post and Instagram is like you know go Davis, you know we got our boys in there. Fans are also proud the nail biting game that got the Aggies to this point put Davis on the college basketball map. There's a lot of excitement in the town. I, I heard somebody say you know 80 percent of the country didn't know where UC Davis was, and now they probably do. The NCAA tournament debut is creating a new sense of pride for students and alumni. It's amazing. Like, I used to watch Aggies uh, basketball, but like, this is the first time I know that they're doing so well. They're kind of an underdog a little bit because they lost the last time, so I feel like it's just gotten people like rallied around them and stuff like that, and you know, it's a good vibe, it's a good energy that we're feeding off of. So. Over at the UC Davis bookstores, no Aggies March Madness merchandise is available just yet, but the store says be on the lookout. Just today, we had so many people coming in asking like about, you know, the win and if we can get merchandise. Predictions might be mixed. Prediction is they beat North Carolina uh, to get in and play Kansas and then just get hammered by Kansas. You never know sports. I mean, people can kind of have an off game one day. Maybe, you know, Kansas doesn't bring it and we do because we're the underdogs again. So, you know, we fight a little bit harder than they expect. But no matter the outcome, everyone in Davis just seems to be happy to be invited to the party. Yeah, everyone's just excited about that like, and feel like the general vibe around the area is just awesome right now. Tomorrow, everyone's going to be talking about it in class. I'm just happy that we're in it at all. In Davis, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.